Hey there, happy Friday. I'm meteorologist Mackenzie Bart. We've already seen the cloud coverage move in, but later today we are going to get the showers and even the wind from the remnants of Helene moving north across the area. It made landfall earlier, or excuse me, late last night, around 11 o'clock at night as a Category 4 hurricane. And we'll start to see some of the rain and winds from that system as we get into the second half of the day. Right now, Helene is a tropical storm, so it has downgraded significantly and will continue to do so as we take you through the night. Uh, wind gusts at 90 miles per hour, so it's still le wreaking a lot of havoc across uh, parts of Georgia and even the Carolinas, even some parts of Tennessee as it continues to move into the uh, Tennessee and Ohio Valley. This will become an area of low pressure and just kind of meander around as we get into the afternoon and evening. Uh, and as it continues to sit there, that's when we'll continue to see conditions from it. Now, places like Kentucky and Tennessee really expecting to get some rainfall out of the system. Some places could get well over five inches of rain uh, over the next couple of days, maybe even more than that in some spots. Closer to the Ohio River, that's where we're expecting most of the rain, at least for Ohio, but we will get some places here and there that do get some good, much needed rain. As of right now, looking at the radar, most places are quiet. If you're, you're in Tuscarawas County, some parts of Richland County, probably seeing a, a few sprinkles here and there, but most of us are quiet. Definitely cloudy though, and that's not gonna change much this afternoon. We'll see the rain move in as we get into the night. Uh, moving in from the south. You can see most of Ohio, just half of it covered in showers. It is needed rain, so we will take what we can get, especially with all the dry conditions we've seen. Now, the rain will continue to move in tonight, especially as we get into the evening commute, and then we'll turn a little bit scattered as we get into your Saturday and even Sunday. Heaviest of the rain is expected to be south of the area, so around US 30 south of that, where places could see anywhere from a half of an inch to an inch and a half. I'd say closer to the lake shore, we're probably looking more like a quarter of an inch to half of an inch, but again, we will take any rain we can get. And then breezy too, we're expecting wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour this afternoon. That's why some places here in Ohio are under wind advisories and warnings. Not seeing that for our area, but some places in Ohio already seeing that. And you'll see why here as you look at this graphic. Places near Dayton and even Cincinnati are expecting wind gusts to reach 40 miles per hour this afternoon. Now it will be pretty gusty here. We're expecting anywhere from 20 to 30 as we get into the afternoon and evening. So it is gonna be a, a little bit of a, a breezy day. If you got patio furniture outside or even some fall decorations, the fall wreaths, maybe you wanna keep an eye on those as we get into the day. Also, if you like being out in the water, today is really not the day for it. We're already seeing a little bit of a chop out on the lake and we're expecting uh, waves anywhere between six to nine feet as we get into the second half of the day, uh, which is prompting a small craft advisory. That'll last until Saturday. Even tomorrow, a little bit of a chop out there. So do be safe if you have to be out in the water, but again, would highly uh, suggest against it at least for the next 24 hours. Sunday's looking a little bit better, although you are gonna be met with some showers. All right, as that area of low pressure continues to just uh, hang around, we're gonna get these waves of rain from the system. Again, that area of low pressure, if you're just tuning in, that was uh, uh, Helene, so that hurricane that made landfall, that will eventually become this area of low pressure. And it'll just kind of hang out in parts of the Midwest the next few days. By seven o'clock tonight, we'll see scattered showers across the region. That will continue through a lot of the night into tomorrow. I do think tomorrow will be met with a lot of cloud coverage, rain moving in from the south during the evening, and then Sunday is looking a little bit wetter with on and off light showers through a lot of the morning and afternoon. We'll start to see some drier conditions Sunday night into Monday, but still we're expecting some rain around for the early part of next week. Now here's uh, how much rain we're talking. Again, for places closer to the lakeshore, I do think it's gonna be below half of an inch, but a little bit higher the farther south you go, Mansfield, Youngstown, uh, even places like Tuscarawas County, Holmes County, uh, Stark County, it might squeeze out an inch depending on where some of that heavier rain lines up. 
So rain moves in tonight, breezy. Watch out for those gusts around 30 miles per hour for that evening commute. Not going to be a fun one. And then Saturday and Sunday, on and off, light scattered showers throughout the weekend. Temperatures in the upper 70s, mid 70s by Monday and Tuesday as that rain moves out of here. And then once that system moves on out, we will see temperatures only in the upper 60s on Wednesday. Morning temperatures in the 40s. We will have another update, another look at the radar. Meteorologist James Ferris will have that coming up at noon, so feel free to join us then. An update on that Friday night football forecast, too. We'll have a look at that, or you can always find it at fox8.com underneath the forecast discussion. Have a great Friday.